Don't use that take. <laughs> My name is Dakota Yazi. Um, I'm Dene from uh, Camp Verde, Arizona. I'm a uh, indigenous liberal studies major here at the Institute of American Indian Arts. What I want to accomplish here at the Institute is just, I guess, get a, a clearer direction of where I want to go with, with the work that I do and really become specifically, uh, I guess, trained <laughs> to become better at uh, what I want to do, and what I want to do is music, possibly painting, um, other things like that. Um, I just want to kind of open open my world to all of those those different places that I, I've never been able to go to. Um, so that's, that's what I plan to do. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, music in my life has, has definitely um, guided me to go, it's, it's why I'm here. Um, if it weren't for music, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have uh, the interest in education that I do. And I think that music has, has taught me a, a lot about how to approach things, I guess. Um, I've never questioned twice whether or not I love playing music. It's just always innately been there. Um, and even even in like harder times in my life, like uh, music has just always been a way for me to express myself um, when other mediums weren't doing it as well, or when I couldn't talk to certain people. It was just always something that I could I could go to and rely on. Um, and it was definitely, it was like, it was like a friend to me, or it is a friend to me. And to me, music is like a living uh, thing, a living entity. Playing out the night, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's nice to have these um, these random things that I do as well because um, sometimes I get I don't know I make the same things over and over again, or I'll have the same lyrics or similar lyrics. So doing creative stuff like this kind of pulls me out of those boring ideas that I might have reoccurring again and again.
Well, I certainly wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be an interesting person if I didn't have the guitar. There's a lot of time that I put into the guitar and put into uh, playing music uh, and maintain, maintaining that relationship. Um, so I would say it's like, it's a good chunk of my life. It's just a part of my identity at this point. I think music, for the most part, has kept me out of out of trouble. There was a point in my life when I was just doing negative things, but certainly music held me back. So I'm glad that I had music because it it kind of kept me away from from going too far into certain things. I don't know. It was kind of like therapy for myself, and. Uh, so, so it was definitely an outlet, and I, I have all the respect for it because of it. Open Mic Night is something that's put on by the Performing Arts Club. Um, myself and Aaron Kinate put together uh, an Open Mic Night. We put it in the cafeteria at least once a month. Um, we try to get poets and musicians and uh, people with talents to come out, show what they got. The PR and marketing extraordinaire, Dakotas, yes, 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 yes. I think it's great because it, it opens like a space up for people to, you know, express themselves creatively. We got a sheet on the table up front. Put your name down. Tell us a story. I think it's it's nice to get used to that that feeling of you know being in front of people and showcasing or you know just showing like what you what you do. Um, and I think it's a unique opportunity for people um, you know who are observing too to to see what you know people are up to creatively. You know, it opens up the door for, for people to um, challenge themselves and also just have a good time. Give it up for Dakota Yazzie! Good evening, everybody. It's good to see y'all. Got you guys around. Having some dinner, nourishing yourselves. Uh, I'm going to be doing a poem. Noises of
raised ash smeared, foreheads rubbing mantles. bit of blue